Good morning, everyone. How are you all today? Good? Terrific. Welcome to East Elementary School. We are so thrilled to be here. My name is Jay Pension, and I am here with Boston Children's Theater. And we have been working tirelessly over the past few weeks, and actually a couple months now, on the fifth grade play that we are here to present today. And we're really excited to um, have a chance to perform. This is the, I believe it's the sixth year that we've been doing this program here at East Elementary School. And it's been really exciting to come into the classroom and have all of the students who've been watching it over the past few years who've kind of grown up watching the fifth graders do this. And then it's their opportunity to come and perform. And we're really excited to have our day to perform today. So our theme for these presentations is about colonization. It's about a group of people moving from one place to a new place and about their interactions when they get there, etc. And I'll pop up in between each group's performance to give you a quick rundown of what you're going to see. So first up, we have 5D, and they're going to do a story about what happens when they leave for the new world. And everything that you're going to see is inspired by them, inspired by the students. And the way we work is we'll work in tableaus, we'll each give a line, they'll write some journals, and we'll take lines from that and their ideas from that. So everything that you're seeing is their ideas put on stage. And that's a really important element of what we do here at the school. Before we begin, we want to give a huge thank you to the PTO and for your contributions that make this possible. 5D, come on up. My mother got word from the king that we'd be leaving for the new world. My dad said we'd find a better life. I was hired to leave with two families to take care of their children on the ship. I get seasick. Whoa, don't come back to me. Put a sock in it. This is going to be a great trip. You're telling me. The king gave us a stipend for taking the trip. We were to discover the new world and we would be rewarded. I wanted to go to creative school. And I wanted to be her assistant. But things didn't go smoothly as we planned. I want my sister to stay. If she can't, you have to let me go with her. How are you going to get there? I'm going to see in this town. As a town wise man, I can see seasickness in the future through this very ball. Oh, no. no, that's the Cheeto. Oh, thanks. Okay. You can't leave. This will help me gather straw to leave baskets if you send my children away. And I won't have anyone to babysit. Yeah, let him go. More for us, you without him. We can meet them once they've established a Chipotle in the new world. <laughs> we are going on tonight. There was an uprising that ended the giant tug of war match. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we? Why can't we be friends? But we had our orders. And we had to leave the next morning. So we packed our bags that night. sail the boat down the bay. It will throw them off when their trip will be delayed while they search for it. Well, what do we do when they find it? Yeah, geniuses. What then? I'm sure they've got a plan. Yeah, they thought this thing through. No half-baked ideas. Um, after I'm not sure what we do, what's we do with the ship? Oh, Uncle Herbert, always joking around. Pig farmers have such a great sense of humor. Everybody just focus here. We have to get the ship moving and then we'll revise the plan. Someone's a little crabby. You three men, Reese and so Herbert, you're the lookout, and Vladimir, you and Captain's quarters charting our path. Aye, aye, Captain! Shh. Aye, aye, Captain. We sailed on to the night. 
Some of us fell asleep. And when we woke up, we were in a new land. Uh, Toto, I don't think we're in England anymore. What's going on, Whittington? We were supposed to move this rig down the shoreline, not to Africa. Listen, I'm usually the, usually the first mate, not the captain. So you're saying? He's saying we're not in England anymore. We're off to the new world. No. I thought we loaded it up last night. I hope it didn't drift away. I hide it to the dock of six knots. It wasn't going anywhere. I've got to get out of here. This place is the worst, and my Uncle Whittington is the worst. I can't carry this kid anymore. We have to get on the ship. Looks like we can't leave today either way. Hey, where did everyone go? Our families would be here to see us off. You don't think? They stole our ship. Let's find them. We looked everywhere for those thieves. For months we searched the shoreline. Until we finally found this. Dear family, listen, we're here to tell you it's my fault, but it's Whittington's fault. We wanted to keep you in England, so we decided to steal it and move it down the shoreline. You know, to buy us some time to convince you to stay, but... Okay, so it might be my fault. Whittington is a first mate, and he couldn't read the map. So now we're in some other place. With a lot of monkeys. But thanks for packing that curling iron, Helen. This humidity was doing something awful to my hair. <laughs> Please send help. We need a captain. And some Chipotle. She took my curling iron? I have to get myself out of this place. I need to be saved. The agony. Well, at least Uncle Whittington's gone. True. True. Two weeks later, they finally made it back with our ship, having learned their lesson. We're off, We're off to the new world. world. Hey, what Either you can fess up or you can find the real culprit before everyone starts accusing you. Oh, come on. We didn't do anything. But they don't know that. 
Or we just fess up and it could all be cleared up. Either way, we have to send a report back to England. Is that necessary? We're losing viable options. Either we cover our tracks or turn back. Well, one of us goes to jail. One of you goes to jail if these people don't, don't get those safe ways. True. With my ship, I'll go down with it. <gasps> now we know who's been stealing all of our things. And we knew what to do about it. I say we turn the ship around. She's correct. Hold on a second. I have an idea. Let's steal the ship film, keep it possible so we can figure out what's really going on here. Yeah! What's going on? Captain, Captain, someone has stolen the wheel. What? What's going on here? We heard you talking to that lawyer. Then you must be as confused as I am. Don't play dumb with us. It wasn't us. People have been stealing our things too. What are we waiting for? Attack! Stop! Stop! What do we have to do to prove it wasn't us? Please, we'll do anything. Woo! Woo! Bad dog! No! Sit! No! no you sit! sit. <laughs> awkward moment on the ship, we had a much smoother journey. Well, that is until we dock. Oh. It's so good to be on solid ground. Fur, it's freezing here. Good thing I knit socks for homeless people for a living. Now we're homeless and we need socks. Does that mean you now knit socks for yourself? Good question, my son. Thank you, Priest Gertrude. Wait, your name's Gertrude? It is, my son. Aren't you a boy? It's a long story. Then I should know. I'm the royal storyteller, and since we left England, I don't have any royals to tell stories to. <laughs> well, it's again, man. Someone tell me the story question. Well, you found some Zemtias. To put it simply, my father wanted a girl. Sorry, priest. It's okay. We've come to peace with it. My hands are freezing. I don't think I can even write here. Well, I'm still seasick from that journey. We can't go anywhere today. We can't go anywhere at all. We've been traveling forever. We came to find the new world, and we found it. I'll go look for some food. No work. Can you come with me? I don't like the looks of this place. I'll come with you today, but tomorrow we set sail. Right, Priest Gertrude? I think that would be best. I'll consult with the captain after his nap. Ooh, a nap. Sounds like a good idea. Let's go take one. Can you grab the bread and we'll start using the same. Yes, ma'am. Jerry, Tom, Phil, you have the condiments. Relish! Mustard! Ketchup! Great. I'll start establishing my chipotle. Whoa, slow down here. We aren't establishing anything here. We need a warmer climate. We're not going to last it through a night here, let alone a winter. Plus, I'm a chef. You need me. We can't seriously be thinking about leaving, can we? We just got here, and according to me, your legal advisory. Once we hit the new world, we, we are to establish a colony. Cap says so. The king says so, and I say so. We better do things right. But I haven't seen a single animal. I can't be a veterinarian here. Peace, my children! Yo, didn't we leave England for religious freedom? What are you even doing here, Priest Gertrude? Edward, don't be rude. Come here. Shove the strawberry in the trap. Be quiet. Strawberries! <laughs> We were just finishing up the sandwiches and Norworth and I had to go back to hunting. Woo! Sandwiches! 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 We load it back in the morning. All in favor, follow me. Aye, aye, aye Millworth. I don't think we should leave. We just got here. We haven't even given this place a chance. But if we split up, we definitely won't make it through the winter. Maybe not, but I'm not leaving. We spent too long in that awful boat. Besides, I've been sick for weeks and I'm just starting to feel better. 
We had a great sandwich set up here. We have to stop them. The captain said we're leaving. The decision is made. Wait, Maria, we can't stay. Yeah, right. What do you have in mind, Larry? We'll sink the ship. How? We'll pull coals in it so water will leak in slowly during the night. It'll leak so slowly that by the time they notice, it'll be too late. All in favor say aye. Aye! Taking these names down, we have to claim our territory. But we haven't met them yet. How do we know they want to hurt us? I know. I have a plan. Tomorrow night we will approach the natives and tell them to stay away from our forest. But then we are first, and they haven't done anything to develop the land like we have. And they seem to be getting along just fine without houses and guns. Quiet! Listen to the captain. If they don't cooperate, we'll put our heads together and think of a way to drive them out of the woods. Let's destroy them! I'll meet you at the town hall at sunset, and we'll devise a plan. Mason? Yes, sir? Help Charles bring what he's been working on at the blacksmith shop. Yes, sir. I don't think this is right. We don't know anything about the natives. I wish Captain Brown would give him a chance. Come on. We're going to see what those natives are really up to. Then we'll tell the captain what's really going on before he does something he'll regret. <laughs>
gift to him. Thank you, Cookie. Tomorrow we honor you for your harvest of the deer this afternoon. We will have many meals for winter. And Coco and I will make spears and arrows. Thank you, Tumon. It is my pleasure to take care of my village. Achoo! Shh! What was that? It sounded like a squirrel sneezing. And his brother is laughing. It is another. Come up from my shadow dungeon and share our campfire. No use hiding yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what are they wearing? What silly headdresses. Be nice. We must welcome them. They are company. Move your headdresses. Your hats. It's a settler. To murder us, no doubt. Gosh, let us listen to their words. Elsa, Elsa, who are you? Uh oh, look who's up to no good. Get ready to fight. Let's just have a fight. I'm ready. Peace. We must not fight. This is our sacred worship grounds. You are right here. We should not tarnish it. My name is Ola. My name is Elsa. Don't I know you from somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> Potentially gold plated? Oh, the answer is yeah, people. Three cheers for Las Vegas. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! What's going on here? What's all y'all about? Sorry, officer. There appear just thinking about us exploring. Oh, no, you know it's prepared to leave the colony without a weird permission from the mayor. We know. We were just thinking is all. No one is leaving this year colony without me. You all get lost and get eaten by bears just like Portia. The Portia story is a myth. And Miss Vermeer, I can tell you something. I have an elf. I'm a writer. If you guys leave, who would come to our fashion shows? Who will help me with my lifetime dream of becoming a trapeze <laughs> artist? <laughs> oh, Ilias, that dream will never come true. Everyone, just relax. They can't do anything without consulting the mayor anyway. Plus, most of you are criminals, and if you leave, I'll be out of the job. So you better keep your fans in place. You know it's good for you. You hear? Yes, Officer Jerk. What is she trying to say? Don't tell me Bessie is leaving us too. Oh my God, 
Joanne will definitely leave. She loves Bethy. This is nuts. Everything started to get out of hand. There were people arguing in the streets. So we took the idea to the mayor to get his advice. Everyone, play on it. Our mayor, James White, requested your attention. Thank you, Officer Durs. Colonists, it has come to my attention that there's been some unrest regarding the birth of the new world. Where has he been? This is old news. I've consulted with my committee and we've decided that we will begin a world outreach program to find Las Vegas under a few conditions. No! no. Yes! Our extinguished firefighter, Jill, uh -huh, get it? Extinguished? Classic. Okay. Jill will be reading the conditions. Thank you. Okay. What? All those leaving for exploration must teach their skills to the colonists before leaving. I.e., no blacksmiths shall leave lest an apprentice be procured and a new business established. Two, all criminals must remain in the colony. Yes! Three, a suitable shelter must be created to survive the long months of winter. Uh, four, all colonists must check with the mayor individually before leaving the colony. Fair? Fair! So we pack their bags. And we jump on out of that colony to explore the new world. And you know something? Las Vegas, Vegas wasn't lined with gold. He looked at my old treehouse. Good. <coughs> I wish I hadn't left in the first place. It might have been cold, but it wasn't so dusty. But hey, let's not forget why we came to the new world. It's to fulfill our destiny. Destiny! Terrific. Thank you all so, so much for joining us. If we could have all of the fifth grade groups on stage, I know that we do want to take a quick photo with all of the groups. Boys and girls, this one, hopefully, this is a phenomenal performance. And like I always tell everybody, this is the stuff you remember when you're old like me. You all remember in class, you all remember what you got on your spelling test in Mars, but you will remember your part in the, in the fifth grade play. So a lot to this memory. And thank your parents, and thank your teachers, and thanks the, the staff from Boston Children's Theater who made this all happen for you. So a big round of applause for all of them, right? And uh, Chris Roberts is president of the school PTO. She has a few words she'd like to say, and some things she'd like to pass out. Uh, everything Tony just said. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Boston Children's Theater. Thank you uh, for rearranging a million times. Chrissy Chisholm got us new dates. Thank you for parents for not only paying for this, uh, finding places to park and taking the shuttle. Thank you, teachers. Thank you, kids. What a great this really was. Um, a phenomenal way to spend the morning. Um, so thank you very much. And I need a volunteer from each class to come give out some flowers. So first come, first serve. And make sure you guys all say thank you to your teachers. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody.